The new season is just two days away. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what operators to play in order to rank up. Let me not waste your time and let's begin. So let me first explain to you the tiers and why I have them listed like this. So we have the please rework section. These are the operators I think need to be reworked 100% because I don't see them having any value at the moment. Is there value for them to some of you guys? Yes, but I can tell you how they could be better. We have the could never use section. These are the operators I think that could be deleted today and you'll never miss them and you'll never go, man, I would have I would have hit champ if I had so and so. Right. We have the very niche operators, meaning that these operators have a very, very specific job for you to do. The other team has to apply that same pressure for you to use your ability. And it's perfect, but it's just too perfect, in my opinion. These are situational operators mean that there's certain maps certain rooms and certain maps are very very good in and others are just completely terrible but you can't delete them because they do some maps justice then we have the great a lot of the time operators these are the operators that you could play them almost every single round and you're like man i'm so happy i played so and so but they're not auto locks you're not playing them that much and these operators up here are, are the obvious. You can main them. You can play them every single round. And you'll never feel like you should have played somebody else. And we're going to work from the bottom up. Let's begin. Now, a lot of you guys, when I do my tier list, there's always a guy commenting. I stopped watching when I saw you rank this person here. This tier list is to help you rank up by playing the most important operators. And for people who don't really five stack. Okay. So we have the rework section. IQ. Blackbeard sends these operators in my opinion right now need to be adjusted we know a blackbeard change is coming and for a lot of people who don't know you can probably google it there was a rumored change where blackbeard would no longer have a face shield and he would get a camera like echo but instead of the camera being stuck to the ground and then sticking to the ceiling they want to get a camera that's like a helicopter and you can hover it like hover it to a spot like a little mini helicopter and you fly it and you rest it on a table spot and you can have a very nice cool specific in the air type of camera that's what people think blackbeard is going to eventually turn into we don't know if that's sure but we want blackbeard to get a change absolutely my issue with sense is that rolling it is too it's too hard to depend on a roll of a wall i would much rather be able to put it in a spot, hit a button, and let it roll itself so the timing could be more perfect. Or give Sens the ability to see through her wall, but give her two walls instead of four. What do you guys think? An IQ, I think IQ should deserve warding glasses. IQ should not be at risk of looking for utility while using her pistol. Now, some people would say, but then you'll just use an AR and shoot vigil through the wall. You can do that already with the pistol now. Who cares? Like, let IQ just put goggles on and keep her gun up because having that pistol out is just a weakness that people aren't really looking to deal with, in my opinion. All right. Now I have the could never use section. Again, these are operators I think that you could never play ever again after today. And I bet if a lot of you guys stopped picking them, you would win more games. Okay. A lot of people are big advocates for Rook and Doc, and they're mostly console players because console players do a lot of body shotting. If you guys watch any of my coaching videos, my biggest tip to console players is that they body shot so much. And because that's the case, a lot of you guys love to heal yourselves. Rook, Doc, Thunderbird. There's a reason why in Pro League, you're, you're not seeing these operators because a lot more headshots are hit. It doesn't matter if you can get a health boost. There's less of a chance of you being able to get back and get healed anyway. They're great rank operators, but there's other people to play to help you win and get kills instead of just healing yourself up. Tachanka pulling out his gadget and shooting fire is a downfall to me, in my opinion. Cav requires a very unique scenario to happen that's just too unique. The other team has to be stupid, and you also have to know how to flank at the right time. Your teammates need to stay alive. Nobody is planting the bomb anymore. The next 20 games of rank that you play, I want you to write down how many times the bomb gets planted. I play in champ elo every day. The bomb gets planted maybe twice within four or five hours. It rarely gets planted anymore. If you guys are enjoying the tier list so far, this is my second channel. This channel is going to have deeper information for Siege content. So for an example, today's video is a tier list on all the operators. 
but this channel right here is going to have an attacker tier list and a defender tier list it's also going to have a full twitch stream vod upload so if you miss a twitch stream you can watch all seven hours of a stream right here it's going to have funny moments it's going to have apex moments it's going to have all my twitch stuff go check it out link in the description and if it does get planted you're throwing nitro smokes you don't really want to be on cameras when you're getting rushed in this gun heavy meta and i think you could pick up the rest of these where it's like you could see how they could be great but it's not working on a consistent basis. The biggest question mark for most of you guys would be Brava. My experience with Brava as a solo queue champ is that by the time you hack the things you want to hack, your team is already dead. That is my biggest complaint. And that used to be my complaint about Zero, but I've got more work and reps in with him and I've learned to like him a little bit more. But in my opinion, there is more of a downfall to picking Brava than Zero. So Brava is in the section. Her drone either needs to be stronger or quieter or something. It's just not working for me right now. Now let's talk about the very niche operators. These are the operators that are way too specific. Are they bad? No. But very specific things need to happen in order for them to be good. If you can get it to work on a more consistent basis, good for you. Glass. The thing about glass is that you want to put yourself in this spot where you can smoke in an area where defenders are attempting to wall bang you back, or you're just hitting, you're pretty much hitting a lick. You're trying to sneak, get a kill. You want to leave the spawn with your bearing. You don't want anyone to hear that sniper go off. And you need very specific things to happen to where it's like, oh my God, they have a glass. And the way they found out is because you got a kill through a smoke. It's very specific. Same thing with Pulse. This gadget's not good enough. You need a very specific map, round, below. People in sight have to stay alive. Warden, you need the other team to be using smokes in order for you to even use your gadget. Cali requires very specific bands in order to be strong. Fuse requires you to be able to have flank watch as you're putting things to the floor. Gridlock and Nomad, a lot of you guys are playing for flank watch, but that's wrong. You want to be playing Gridlock and Nomad for aggressive playstyles for planting. The idea of Gridlock was to use her du during a plant. A lot of you guys don't know that. Gridlock's main job when first made was... When you are planting, you throw your gridlock so the defenders can't hear it. But you guys are using it for flank watch, you know. So again, these operas, I think, they're not terrible. But very specific things need to happen in order for them to be great. Um, and like Flores. Like Flores is a sick operator. But on Oregon Basement, Chalet, and then it, his value is so up and down. In extremes, by the way, too, right? So now we're going to talk about situation changes value. Now, these are operators that I think are very good operators and they get very, very broken with different situations. So let me explain. Tubby is one of the best ops in the game. The argument can be played that you can use him every round. But let's say Night Haven Labs, the box wall, the CC wall on Garage. A lot of you guys know, or don't know, excuse me, that when the wall is reinforced and you throw the gadget on the side of it, it freezes the whole thing, the whole thing right? If there's a bandit on the wall, and you freeze the wall three times. When the last one unfreezes, the bandit will go on faster than the thermite that goes off. So you can always keep the wall closed. If you want to learn how to do it, just join my Twitch chat. But the wall will always stay closed. Tubby is pretty much saying, hey, the wall is going to stay closed. They're never going to get in. They have to go through doors. And the only way they can stop this is if the Thatcher is smart enough to count in his head the timing of the the ices so he can throw his final emp to beat the cade turning back on or the bandit turning back on it takes a very talented player to realize what is going to happen so again tubby is great but you have to be you know the the sites the the, the your teammate if you have a teammate that plays bandit with you like that right so very good uh mirror could be played almost on every single site but you shouldn't really do it cafe bank uh, Clubhouse Mira is unbelievable. Frost, great for Chalet. Vigil's great in a duo queue. You have Vigil run around. You have someone play near him. That way they can't drone him. So when they're looking to push him, you can bounce off of Vigil and get kills with him, right? Uh, Solus has got a massive nerf. I do not think Solus is going to be broken. I think Solus is going to be better on smaller maps like Coastline uh, and Border. Uh, could these, these groups, by the way, be the same? Kind of, but I think that... You're way better off playing all these people way before anybody down here, okay? 
Uh, Deimos is great again, but when you're in a, a duo queue, a three stack, a five stack, work together. Uh, working vert with ram is good, but not all the time. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of you guys would agree with these. I don't think there's any issues with these. Now let's go to great all the time operators. Sentry and Striker are two brand new recruit operators brought to the game. And I do think they're possibly going to be broken when people realize what they could actually do with them. But for now, we're looking at two operas. I have two gadgets at one time, and that is unbelievable. If you don't know a lot about these operators, you want to learn more. I stream every single day. Come to stream. Let me know what you can do with them. And I'll, I'll be sure to make a guide very soon for both of these on my YouTube channel. Sledge is phenomenal. Ash is phenomenal. But there is better entry operators than Ash. This is a comfortable pick, yes, but there is better people than Ash, right? Um, Legion's great, but losses impacts. Doke is great. Jackal is great. Grim, I've learned to love Grim. Grim used to be down here for me. Guys, I've been I've been enjoying Grim. I think he's a lot better than I thought. I've been a mistake. I got my reps in. He's been pretty good. Um, Malusi's phenomenal with Legion combination when being very aggroed on. Monty, Blitz. Clash are all broken operators right now. They're unbelievable to play. Maverick is one of my favorite ops in the game. Love Maverick. And now let's finally go to the operators that you can main. All the operators up here, I think you can play every single round on every single map, and you will win all the time. If you guys look at this group of operators right here, this group here, and you stuck to these operators every single round, attacking defense, you would win more ranked games. You would win way more ranked games and as your game sense increases when you learn how to pluck from the bottom and drag these up sometimes you'll get even better more specifically it's like you're loading to chalet top floor and you're like yo we need a valkyrie we need a smoke we already got that we need a zami oh we already got that we need a wamai okay i'll play wamai we have wamai ready man i can pick one of these then they're playing a lot of shield i'll play legion um i don't really see shield players and i don't think these guys are going to sneak up on me so what if, besides, instead of me doing these, right, maybe I play Frost for the window jump-ins. And that's how I want you to pick the operators. Start here and then work your way down. Print this out, write it down, take a picture. And if you guys are going, do we have any of these guys? All right, we already have a, a good amount of those. How about these? All right, I'll take him. And then eventually when you play more and more, maybe some of you guys are way better than me at playing a very strong mirror like maybe you know way more mirror strats so maybe mirror is here for you but maybe you're realizing you know he's kind of right like having two mirrors on all time isn't really that good it like, gets popped now a lot because of ash maybe i just take somebody different maybe i stop playing mirror and i start picking up more legion you know i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hit that like and sub button if you're new i stream every single day on twitch i post three times a day on tiktok every day my TikTok is blowing up. I highly suggest you check it out. And I'll see you guys next time.